Hey, hey, honey. Good morning. Did you... Did you sleep well? That's good, that's good. Hope the bed is to your liking. Yeah, it's extra large. Uh, compromise. I know that you wanted uh, two separate beds, and I wanted the joint one, so I just got this one instead. It can be either, or... Assembling it was easier than I thought it would be, although my brother did help me out. <laughs> that might be the reason to why I went so smoothly, actually. He's really skilled in that regard. Two pairs of hands are nearly required for a bulky beast as this. <laughs> um, oh yeah, uh, the pillows should come off after the weekend. The really big ones. Just so you can divide the space to your liking. All at your own pace, of course. No worries. The bedroom is big enough for that. We can even line that part of the wall with our wardrobes. A walk-in closet might be convenient, but alas, wardrobes would have to do. It doesn't feel so empty anymore, so that's a big upside, right? Oh, I didn't mean your boxes. Not at all. No reason to apologize. Moving can be pretty messy. I'm quite understanding of that. Besides, that's your half of the bedroom. You can do whatever you want. Keep it messy, orderly. It's your space to do with as you please. Just keep our joint spaces relatively tidy. Okay? That's the only thing I'll ever ask of you. Sure, I'll pick things up should they stand around or be in the wrong spot. I won't really be annoyed about such trivialities. This is your home too, after all. And a home, it should become no clinic. Everything sterilized and such. This should be lived in, truly. A bit of messiness is part of that. Um, yeah. Like I said, do with your space as you wish. But keep our spaces tolerably clean. Actually, wait. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want it to come across as me wanting you to clean the house or anything. I'll certainly do my share. You can absolutely count on that. Let's just both do our best, all right? Hmm? Wait. Why are you... Why are you giving me a key? It's yours now. Oh, right. I forgot to tell you, sorry. Well, I have my own. My brother did that key, just in case of um, emergencies. So there's no need for you to give yours back. No, it's yours. Again, this is your home as well now. You should have the key to your own front door. That just makes sense. The little box beside the answering machine is for the rest of them. Should you ever need a key for the interior doors? Why are you thanking me? It's a basic requirement for a house. Besides, I'm, I might be on vacation. I mean, who would let you in if work picks up? As I said, you having a key makes sense. There are some keychains in my workroom. Feel free to pick one out. Lots of 
clients just love throwing them away. Well, not just them. Surprisingly, come and see there. Or we can go out and buy one if you'd prefer that. Yeah, you can enter my workspace. That's fine, I, d I don't mind at all. There is, in fact, a room I use as storage, but we can clean out our supper space. All for you and your hobbies. Um, if I remember, you like drawing and painting, right? Well, you lucky soul. My late uncle left some canvases behind up in the attic. We can have a look at those if you want. I hope they're still fine, though, after all those years. They're all wrapped up, though, so their state shouldn't be too bad. There might be some other equipment up there as well. I'll bring it down. Does having your own atelier sound good? Well, yeah. Why would I joke about that? We can work out a, a PC setup as well, by the window. Like a, like the one I have in my workroom, for all your digital drawing needs. I'll have to figure out a separate storage solution for my stuff. Maybe the attic. But I'll gladly clear the space for you. So, how does it sound? You like that? Okay, no rush. No rush. I'm sorry, by the way. That couldn't be here for the last few days. Yeah, uh, a client of ours had some technical difficulties. I can't really go into more detail than what I texted you. NDAs and stuff. The hotel was pretty nice, though. Um, anyway, sir. That's not the point. I just wanted to say sorry for not being here. After you asked me about the toilet paper, it became pretty clear to me that my storing system isn't really logical to other people. <laughs> I only needed it for myself. Um, I hope you found your way through everything. Hey, don't be shy. You can look in every cupboard, every drawer. I don't mind at all. Just a clear of the closet. That's where I keep my, uh... <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, exactly. But in all seriousness, feel free to peruse at your leisure. It might be sounding like a broken record right now. But this is your home too. Our home. So please, treat it as such. I might have uh, never lived together with anyone before, not since I was a kid anyways. But I myself would really like this place to become a bit more lively. For the past few years, and this has been more of a place to work and sleep. But there is a reason to why I gathered the courage to ask if you'd like to live with me. Even if it is pretty early into our relationship, admittedly, not just to, not just to fill the house with life, so there we can enrich each other's lives as well. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> oh my Roomba. <laughs> well, he isn't really the best company. But it is true, he lives in this house as well. Honestly, I prefer it if he if he didn't make this place more lively. Sure, watching him desperately trying to eat the cables is funny, but only the first time. Also, uh, also, uh, be careful around the office chairs. He likes to get caught in the spokes. Oh, oh, um, did I? Did I tell you his name? He's called Jarvis. 
Fitting, isn't it? He may not be able to talk. But once I saw the colouring of a Roomba model, well, it was love at first sight. Like with us. <laughs> that could be fun. How many googly eyes do you want to glue on him? Are you leaning towards a woolly or some sort of beholder? Well, he'd look more wholesome with just two. I'd have to agree on that front. But just imagine having our mutuals over, chatting and laughing. Then, suddenly, suddenly, strange noises comes down the hallway. The room falls silent. Everyone tenses up. Around the corner comes the Roomba. <laughs> Absolutely. Plastered with googly eyes. <sighs> and uh, and laces, and a shark fin, and maybe even a plier. Who knows? <laughs> I hope it didn't hear us though. If that's how the robot uprising starts, then I'll have no part in it. But he has to get in to his charging station somehow. And he has to fit under the furniture as well. So, as much as decorating him to the brim would be a blast, it isn't really all that practical. Pamper him with your aura. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. So, uh, um, anyways, I'll go and make breakfast now. It's fine, you can stay in bed as long as you want. I don't really need that much sleep anyways. I often joke about how I've won the genetic lottery. It drives my brother up the wall. <laughs> Some people find my energy to be quite annoying though. Just ring me in when I get too, you know, hasty. Okay, honey? Alright. I'll be back in a bit. Be careful. Sandwich incoming. Mm, what do you mean? Uh, yeah. Of course I made enough for two of us. Whether I make them for one or two hardly makes a difference. It's no effort at all, actually. And I get to feed you in bed. Pretty romantic, isn't it? Wait, well, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Sorry, should, should I have asked you about what filling you want? I mean, it's a salad, cheese and tomato. I know you like that since it's all you ever ordered since we were dating. Even the sauce is kind of the same. Oh, no. Oh, God. Did I make it worse? Sorry, sorry, honey, I... Uh, can you... Is it alright if you tell me what's wrong? I'm kinda at a loss here. C c can I... Can I sit on your side? Hey, hey. You can talk to me. Was it... Um, did I... Did I do something? Okay. Oh... Okay, I mean, I promise I'll do better next time. Wait, you're not upset? Then why are you crying? Well, yeah, of, of course I Why wouldn't I think of you two were making breakfast? What sort of partner would... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was being a dumbass. 
I know what's going on now. Can I hold you for a bit? I'm aware of how, you know, can I? So that you know you're safe with me. And I have some things to say. Yeah, yeah, another faces off limits, sorry. Okay, how about your feet? You want to rest them on my lap, maybe? I could massage them. Oh, no, um, handkerchiefs should be in a nice stand. Ah, yeah, right there. Sorry to make you cry like that. So, can I hold your feet then? Okay, I'm just pum up here, alright. Whatever position makes you comfortable. Hey, hey. No need to apologize. It's all good. Our mutual friends have hinted at your, you know, past. So I'm marginally aware of the past. I won't ask, I promise. That's only yours to share. But whenever you're willing to, you will always have my undivided attention. What I want to say is, um, that I'll always listen. You have my word. I'll always be there for you. No matter what happens. But I'm no therapist. I'm your partner. You have one? <laughs> that's, that's good. Actually, that's fantastic. Professional help can, can go a very long way. If you ever need anything in that regard, then please let me know. But I'm your partner. But that doesn't mean only sharing joys in life, but the hardships as well. My shoulders might not be the broadest. <laughs> I can take on some of your burdens if you're ever willing to share them with me. No rush. No rush. Wait. That's what changed your mind on dating me? Huh? But, y but yeah, I, I agree. I mean, whoever enters a relationship in hopes of fixing something about themselves is, is in for a world of disappointment. Well, most likely. This is my first relationship, after all. But I've seen it happen to others, where one party hinged their happiness or emotional health on being in a relationship marriage, or having kids, most of the office gossip are such instances. Quite sad, really. Oh, I trust that you know that. You saw a therapist, after all. So your head is definitely in the right place. In my humble opinion, at least. But such things need to be said. And I'm in every word. This is your home. That's your key. And that's your side of the bed. Anything in here is yours. <sighs> I mean, even I. That reminds me. I don't, want, I don't really want to be, you know, I don't really want to get so serious right now. That might reveal a bit about myself. Um, I don't really have experience in this relationship stuff, but I really, really, really want to work this out with you. I like you. A lot, in fact. And not only am I willing to go an extra mile for you, but I'm happy to do so too. Because you're phenomenal. No, you really are. Honestly. Sometimes I wish I could just pluck out my eyeballs and give them to people in my life I hold most dearly. 
just so they can see themselves through them. How amazing I find all of them. And that includes you. Nothing chips away at my heart more than somebody unnecessarily belittling themselves. But here I go again. That should probably be something for a therapist. True, there'll be a pack of googly eyes in the house. You know what? Maybe I'll glue them on a card and write saturine sweet compliments on them. And you can hang them all over your side of the bedroom. <laughs> See, the tears have dried. All that from us. Simple, simple foot massage. But yeah, I, I, I'm here now. And for next week too. And did I already mention that I took time off work? Yeah, I took, I took vacation time. So that I can help you sell in. Figure out our rooms how to remodel the furniture. Ah, that, that's also something I'd like to underline. Feel free to have your own life. You're my partner, not my captive. Sure, I want to share a life together. But I don't want that to be the only life we have. I hope I'm getting across what I'm trying to say here. Oh, I'm not even one day home, and I made you cry twice already. What a star. Great star. <laughs> oh, well, that's a relief, at least. Good cries are the best kind of cries. But I mean it. I want this. Us. To work. Don't misunderstand me. It's not just for your benefit. I'm here too. And Hannah, when I make a sandwich, it isn't a task to be put on a list of favors. It's something I do simply for your joy and my own. A simple thing to show that I care for us. That might be kind of selfish in its own right, but I've made the experience that uh, little gestures like that can go a very, very long way. Nice try, but no, my vacation is already approved. But what I care more is you. That's why I nagged my boss for some time off, to be here and present, so that we have time to figure things out, just like this. Well, room setups, storage, and those kind of tasks were what I had in mind. You know, logistical stuff. But you can't plan everything, I guess. And sometimes, uh, and we have to talk about our emotions, talk about how we hope that this us functions to hopefully reach some sort of consensus. That vacation couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Hey, hey, don't worry so much. It's fine to be emotional, really. I might be a bit rough around the edges in that regard, but never be put off by my demeanor, okay? Yeah, 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 you can have your feedback. I like your socks, by the way. Alright, I'll give you some space then. Alright. Great, I'll go, I'll go check the attic in the meantime. And I'll put the sandwiches in the fridge. Let me know when you want to eat, alright? So there, I may join you. Let me blow you a kiss. First of all, hey, 
don't hesitate to call me if you need anything. I'll be here in a flash. Love you.